there's the headline stuff from Edwards' uh, report that he did into the club, but we, we spent a lot of time you know, during the, the Prem Cup um, having a really good look at, at rugby, S&C, medical, um, and then obviously Edwards' report as well, um, and learned a lot from, from all of them um, in different ways. And I think the, the overriding thing is there's a lot of excellent work being done by a lot of good people. Um, of course, there's things we can tweak and things that we need to change, and that the key thing is the speed at which we do those. And three kind of main areas that we're looking at, um, obviously, first and foremost, is to, to bring in a defence coach, somebody to run our defence. Um, Hats, as head coach, then um, has, a, has a strong coaching team with him. Um, and that defensive expertise we're looking at now, we're looking to bring somebody in immediately. Um, we're, we're also increasing our provision for the lads around physiotherapy and mental skills uh, and, uh, and mental health. So some more psychological, psychological support from, uh, from Katie, who works with us already, will increase her time. Um, and those things are, we're, we're a pretty unprecedented time. Obviously, from an injury point of view, we've got more injuries than we've ever had. The medical team are doing an amazing job, but you know we've, we've got somebody in already helping with that, and um, that will continue and we'll increase that resource as well. So um, that's about making sure that we can have as many people as possible available, um, and when people have been injured, getting them back on the field as quickly as possible and ready to play for the club. So very positive step. And then the third area is broader, um, less specific, but equally important is within our environment, like how we train, what we do every day. Um, and how we can make sure that, you know, if you like, every minute that we have here is valuable. And that doesn't just mean you've got to be doing work or you've got to be doing scrums or lineouts or whatever, but it means that the team is growing as a team, that they're, they're becoming tighter. Um, and it means that we're getting, you know, the most out of every minute we're on the training field. So that, those are the areas that we're looking at. And we've set ourselves some pretty strong targets to get these things happening and moving quickly. Um, and over a short period of time, once we've done that, we'll reassess and we'll go again. Yeah, the aim is, is evidently increased performance on the weekend. What you can't do is, is stand here and say, if we do this, we win. Like, that, that equation doesn't exist. Um, what you need to do is create the conditions for winning and make sure that your, you know, your weeks and the, and the things we've spoken about there will help our weeks, they'll help our training weeks, um, give us the best chance of going out on a Saturday um, in front of the supporters and putting in those performances. There's a few things that have changed. There's a few, you know, things that we do around the place, the scheduling, that sort of stuff, to make a to make a difference. The attitude of of everyone coming back in is one of excitement. They've had a few days downtime and they're they're ready to go again. So um, yeah, there's there's been changes, and um, I think the players are incredibly excited about getting on the field on Friday night and and playing against Chiefs.